Today's breakdown is not going to be about the macro decision making that I typically talk about. Today's video is going to be about the small decision making that the players need to make themselves as well during high pressure situations. We're going to break down a retake on site on the final map against Loud. We will be watching round 9 between DRX and Loud on Ascend and it's a pretty dire situation for DRX when they have to make a decision about the retake again in a 2v3 situation. So a huge deficit and also a lot of unknowns. Now the players have no clue if all of the opponents are on side but they diligently check all the angles and then they have to prepare to go into the B side with only two angles available because the only angle that is available will be the lane and the stairs and the stairs already has a one way from the opposing omen here so it's gonna be a tough task to handle let's see how they do it before we go further into the video i wanted to ask you a question if you're coming in from north america and you're playing on your servers did you always like think about is the european server really that bad when it comes to toxicity or maybe you're a european player and you wanted to see if the NA servers are really better when it comes to the quality of communications? Well, now I got an answer to you, my friend, because our sponsor, ExpressVPN, is allowing you to do that. You can create an account on a different continent that you're actually in. So you'll be able to create an account in NA if you're European, or maybe in Asia as well. Like, it doesn't matter where you are, because you can choose where you will be connecting to. Virtual network, that's what VPN is. You can also log into your different Netflixes and watch shows that you had never access to. It gives you a freedom and security of what you are browsing in the internet. And with my code, with my link, you will be able to get three months free. Three months free, free. That is hard to say for a non native, but I hope you guys understood. Anyway, three months for free with my link. Remember, check out if this will work for you when it comes to this service environment and let me know in a comment. Thank you ExpressVPN for hooking me up. In a situation like that, you still need to be diligent and check all the angles when you're slowly gathering the space towards the retake. Now you can see that Stax is gonna have a drilled flash. He didn't even think about doing it in the first place and it's absolutely beautiful. It happens within milliseconds and somehow it looks absolutely practiced with every single thing against them right let's break down how is it even possible that drx made this retake let's take a look at this retake from a different perspective now it's very important to understand that marco cannot just go through stairs without setting up himself for success first this one way completely completely just negates him um, the ability to just run through the stairs with the paranoia so now first what he's gonna do he's gonna put a smoke on the back side here to make sure that this later stages of this retake will be um, a potential success as well by denying the first angle for lane in case the player will be standing there and watching stacks pushing through lane now also very important to understand that typically when you are drilling retakes like that you know what will be the potential position from the opponents so when the attackers are playing possum on b side typically you're playing on a contact that means that one of the players that either is standing in this area is looking towards stairs and the players from backside or from dice are peeking on his contact or the player from the green box is playing on contacts on stairs and the players also are peeking on his contact from the backside. If the player are coming, uh, players are coming from lane, then typically the one of the players from the backside of B is the contact play, and the players from dice are peeking on his contact. Now, because of that, all of that knowledge is being gathered in you know hundreds of retakes that the players are practicing or having in official matches. There's a solution found by Mako and Stacks here, and they combine the blind and flash together. The paranoia towards the dice makes sure that the player from dice either stands there and is not possible to play on a contact, but also can be pushed out into the blind into the flash from stacks that bounces through the wall and the additional thing about this flash is pretty amazing because you're gonna see aspas has to turn around from the flash that is above him to make certain that he's not fully flashed now that allows mako to just jump through the one way he needs to do something right and he just has to ignore 
the one way that was in front of him. And that's only possible because he uses the paranoia, but also remember what I mentioned at the beginning, there's a smoke in the backside. And because of that, all of this can be done. Let's take a look step by step. How is this even happening? You will see the paranoia hitting the player on dice. So he needs to be posted in that position. He's not able to do anything. The flash also doesn't affect him because he's currently blinded. So he doesn't even see the flash. But the flash will affect Aspas. He's currently looking into the corner because he knows the flash is coming. After that, few frames, you're going to see how Aspas now is not watching the stairs. No one is watching the stairs because of the smoke on the backside, because of the flash and the paranoia. That allows Stacks to wide swing from lane. Those are the crucial milliseconds that allow him to do that. And now Aspas doesn't have perfect crossover placement against Mako. Mako has a 50-50 with Aspas. One player from the three alive on loud is already eliminated and the smoke essentially delays the peak from backside of the opposing omen towards Mako. That allows Aspas to get the fight. The trade is happening on Aspas by twos and he's killing Mako, but then Stax immediately has the drop on the opposing omen that had to peek through this smoke and that just makes it a perfect retake. This all happens in the span of two seconds. All of this. The decision making is just pristine. It seems drilled. I mean, it doesn't seem drilled. It is drilled because you wouldn't see the same confidence in those moves and the players if they didn't practice this so many times. It's really impressive. And this is one of the reasons why I love watching Valorant being played at the highest level at VCT.